Hello, my name is Sackett, and we are playing Enigmatica 6, and we're back in the autumn. We need some more artifacts, it turns out. There's something we gotta do with those. Now, we've explored a few of those uh, bandit camps already, and we've already gotten uh, five more, one of which is the kind we're looking for, the, the shoe. What we need to do, we need to uh, gather a bunch of those up, and then we need to melt them down in something called a god forge. And we're going to need a tefnut ingots for that. Or something like that. Um, some kind of ingot from here. So we might even be going mining. Okay. So many of them. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm so weird for a minute there. Oh, loads and loads. Okay. <laughs> Let's check this out first. Okay, more of those torches. Sounds like all kinds of fun below us. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Fancy. Phalanx one. Mage boots. We're gonna end up with a whole set of mage armor just from uh, from robbing these tombs. Multiple linen cloth. Aha! Feet of Ra. Part of the armor of Ra. Nifty. Alright, we're down here on the, uh, the lower floor. Let's see what we can find. Down the sarcophagus room. I'm curious if we can light these. Yes, we can. We can totally light these navy torches. So, we're gonna do it. Got a whole crew here. Well, not for long. What's your name, buddy? Rastachasta. Alright. And we got Anput's Hunger. That's pretty cool. And in here, we get some zombie hearts. Dusty Mumbies! That's their soul gen, that's cool. Right, right. And here we have... Zero Faw's Nap. And some mummies. I found uh, some mummified, some dusty mummy bees, or something like that. Um, yeah, you know. Okay. Drop anything cool? Oh, yes, he did. Montu's Strike. That was a good amount of damage. And then more zombie hearts. Oh, he'll definitely take the essence of deaths. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here they are. Dusty Mumbies. I don't know, uh, what they do. Neither does J.I., apparently. Um, let's see. Yeah, there we go. So these will give us... What? What will they give us? Uh, strange sand and beeswax. Okay. So now we're underground. In the Atom, I found another under, or, under oh, the, whatever, Otherworld. Otherworld Grove. Um, hoping we can find some, some other stone in here. It does look like Atom is the place where we start cultism. Is this just a mine? I think this is just a mine. It's cool. Cool. 
weapon for the yeah there we go this is what we're looking for well i spent about two hours blasting around down through those caves those two ores those are the only of the uh the navy ore that i found i think it's gonna be enough though um we're gonna get uh Six, I think, out of this. We shall see. I think we're gonna get. I think we get six out of that. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we would need eight to make the uh, the thing we need to make. I'm gonna turn that music down. Uh, that uh, God Forge or whatever. Or we can use the. Uh, I don't even have them on. We can use the honeycomb blocks from the dusty mumbies, apparently. Um, that's uh, so. That's what we're gonna do. Now, if you look in uh, JI for it, you'll see that the flower the dusty mummy uses is this, uh, this oasis grass, which we got. Uh, you guessed it, in the oasis. Yeah, here we got an RGB and a frosty B. Okay. Yeah, this is our uh, our non-processing apiary, at least for the moment. Now, I think I don't think we can put that. Oh, we can. All right. So we didn't need the fertile soil. Well, that's fine. We'll uh, throw her in here. Porter. And she'll come out and start making some honeycombs. So while our uh, our dusty mummies are doing their thing, we're gonna get back into pneumatic craft after we have built that whole setup upstairs to refine the oil. What we're gonna need next is some way to compress air. And the basic one, the air compressor, <laughs> we're out of luck. We we can't do that one. Um there is a flux compressor, but it doesn't look like uh, it's really in reach. Um, there's also, though, this thermal compressor, and the only weird part are these thermo plates, right? Let's, uh, let's get it back. What does it look like? Is it the red one? Is it the... It's here somewhere. <laughs> There it is. It's the one all the way at the end, next to the compressed stone. So we got these thermo plates, and we'll need to take a thermoelectric generator. And I'm pretty sure we've got all of these parts. Pretty sure. What is that appetite? That looks so cool. Uh, but then we're going to need to run it through uh, just a basic multi-servo press with no uh, with no press mold to make the generators. So let's go ahead and we'll put this in here and this one up here. Very nice. And I don't know if we're going to need more than one of these. I don't know a lot of things. Um, so we'll just, I don't know that this thing knows how to make pressure tubes yet either. We're going to need, oh, we have a bunch of them. Okay, that's fine. We'll use them. Throw this in here, and we're going to make, try to make anyway, that thermal compressor. So, okay, we got to teach it how to make a pity machine frame. It's definitely going to need to know how to do this. Oh. No. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll start with concrete, huh? Um, we could make it with liquid concrete. We could trade for it. You kidding me, right? Where do we get the liquid concrete? From a mixer. 
and we could use create. Uh, we just need clay slag and some kind of gravel. Now to get the honey, I think we're going to need something called a drain, because um, you can't just put bottles into these tanks. Uh, they're not that bad to make. It's just a copper casing and iron bars. And I guess we can pump out of them with pipes? Let's find out. Jump, and we'll get our configurator. And let's see. Sure seems like it's working. Very cool. Now we're going to see what happens here. Um, I don't have any expectation that this isn't going to work, but I do have questions about how we're going to get it out of here. So let's see. I think I want to start pumping the honey in the last. Oh, that didn't, that didn't work. <laughs> what do we, we throw it in here, right? Yeah, that's right. And I gotta say, this basin, in terms of the the various modded Minecraft stuff that you, you throw things into for them to catch, it's great. It is. Like, it just works exactly like it's supposed to. Now, does this need heat? Let's see. Liquid concrete is what we should be looking up, right? So, let's see. No, it doesn't require heat. Oh, it requires water, not honey. I wonder why, uh, why I thought it needed honey. Oh, we'll just drain the, uh, we'll drain the honey out. And we'll put some water in. No big whoop. Oh, it's because I was looking at the immersive mixer, which we haven't made. This just takes water. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh... Set that to normal. Set this. Okay, there we go. I did bring another tank. And we'll, we'll see how we do here. Well, I, I guess it's done. We might need another pipe. Alright, let's see what happens here. If it pumps out the concrete first, we should be fine, but that's not what happened, is it? No, that's not what's happening. Oh, well, we got concrete coming from here <laughs> into the. Oh dear. All right, all right, all right, all right. Just drain this one. I hope. I'm sure there's a simpler way to do this. Um. Okay, now that one's got concrete in it. So hopefully, you know, maybe we should be doing this like a bucket at a time instead of trying to pump in, because I have a feel we're just going to get water in this pipe anyway. But yeah, that's exactly what we're going to get. Now, if I turn this thing to bucket mode, can I just... Yeah, but it, it gets water in the pipe. But it seems like it'll let me keep doing it, which is interesting. Let's get this pipe out of here. <clears throat> oh, no, not, not... Oh! Uh, <laughs> hang on. The mixer's great. The recipe filters, they get me. All right, let's, uh, now it's all messed up. 
Okay, I'm just doing it manually. I'm sure there's... Oh. <laughs> I'm sure there's a better way. But uh, I just kind of want to get this going. Some kind of filters or something. And we'll figure something out if we have to keep doing this, certainly. We're going to use this same basic setup to turn the liquid concrete into concrete, apparently. But uh, we're going to do that with this guy. And I think it's in the right spot. Um, let's see if we can pump the concrete in there this time. <laughs> Do we need to be one farther down? We might need to be one farther down. So, uh, I have a shaft I can steal from somewhere. Steal this one. Cog wheel off, put a shaft on, put the cog wheel back on, and put the, the press. No, it doesn't like that. What else do we have to do here? Is there something I'm not something I'm not getting? It's a mechanical press. No heating required. You know what? I'm a fool. We need a gearbox. That's why this isn't working. The, it's, it's not even connected to the thing. Okay, let's take this out. Put a gearbox in. There we go. And now I'll bet we can just set this to pump in. giving us slabs? What have I done? Hmm. Is this draining? A little bit. Okay. I don't know why I didn't like it when I took the slabs out. That's okay. Okay, it gave us some slabs. And we can make the blocks like that. I thought you got blocks out of that. Maybe I wasn't looking at it right. Let's see. Okay, yeah, this indeed. It's the slabs that you get. <laughs> Brutal. Okay, so we're going to need two of these leaded concretes. So we're just going to need oh, lead plates. We don't have a recipe for lead plates. We're just going to need some lead plates. Our, our last pattern from before the change to expert mode. Last one. OK. So let's, uh, let's make the lead plates. And now we should be able to make our two-leaded concrete. OK. Whoop, we don't even have a recipe for the pity machine frame. Going through the recipes, looking at things we don't have. It looks like the recipe for quartz-enriched iron is, uh, is compressed iron. We can go back to it here. We can do it in the induction smelter. Um, or, <laughs> this is uh, this is getting pretty brutal here, folks. So we can at least make a pattern pattern now, right? Oh, we're in the wrong grid. All right. probably going to be the end of it. Um, so let's see, what else would we need to make the pity machine frame? We'd need a regular machine frame from the thermal series. 
which it looks like we have a valid recipe for. We're going to need andesite casings and iron mechanical components. Oh, we have iron mechanical components. Very, very good. So as soon as that machine frame is done, it's done. There we go. What were we going to make with it? I can't remember. Um, a thermal compressor, I think. So let's see. Oh, now we need uh, copper coil blocks. And uh, we're going to need compressed iron ingots. OK, we just needed a little bit more compressed iron. And now we're finally ready to go. OK. There it is. Now let's get ourselves some pressure tubes. There we go. And we're going to need some ice, I think. So let's see here. I'll throw this thing back here for now. Now, if we were to put ice and magma. OK, so it's starting to do something. But I don't think we're building up enough pressure. Oh, the ice is already gone. That doesn't help. OK, now we're starting to get a little bit. We can see it, uh, we can see it counting up. I wonder what kind of things do we have? OK, blue ice, block heat properties. Temperature liquid deuterium. I mean, this isn't going away instantly, it doesn't look like, like the other one basically did. It's quite slow. But it should be giving us a little bit of pressure here. One side of the compressor and a low temperature on the other. So what, what else do we have here? I want to know all about block heat properties. Is there a way that we can see that? All right, it turns out, like I was able to get into the heat properties. Um, it turns out that liquid starlight is really good. Yeah, that's moving right up. We don't want it to get much past five. So let's see. We want to be able to turn this thing on and off based on how much pressure it has in it. So let's see. I think there's some kind of gauge. Yeah, tube module. We just need a pressure gauge. So let's uh, we'll make some signal and nuggets. And just paper and iron nuggets. Very good. And then for the tube module, it's just a little more signal and nuggets. I think this is what we want. So we're going to put. Uh, tube down. It's not connected to anything yet. Oh, we have to go off the uh, off the top. Yeah, now all that air is just going to go right out there. So maybe we ought to hook that up to something first. Okay, well one thing we definitely need is this thermoneumatic processing plant. So let's uh, let's see what's involved. Okay, it doesn't look that 
bad. We're going to need two of those fluid tanks. That's, uh, oh, we're going to need some more reinforced bricks. Okay, there are the tanks. And just six reinforced stone slabs. Okay. We might be getting down. Okay, no, we should be good. One thermopneumatic processing plant. All right. No. <laughs> it's not that bad. Um, so we'll just put it down, I guess, right here. And I guess it accepts air from here. And it's got two bars of pressure right now. Oh, the magma dive, that's why. That's okay. Now we're going to put this little gauge right there. So it'll emit a redstone signal of one. And the way this works, I'm going to grab a little redstone. As pressure increases, um, the redstone signal that thing will put out will be stronger. So at less than a bar, it's, it's emitting a redstone signal of one. It's not going to power here at all. Um, so we go one, two, three, four. Let's go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. Put it on low signal. I think this will stop the machine from processing when it gets to four and a half bars. But uh, but we'll see. Okay, so we're over one now, and it's emitting a redstone signal of two. So if it, we get to 1.5, and it gets to three right here, or this will have a power of one, you know what I'm saying. Um, then I'll, I'll have my count right. Nine will give us, uh, will give us four and a half, and that'll, that'll shut this thing off. You'll notice at five, it gets into the red zone. Um, yep, that's okay. That worked exactly like I wanted it to. This thing may need to be outside to work. Yeah, it's getting starlight in it now. They got to be outside. Okay, eventually the starlight will turn to snow, and then that'll probably melt. Interesting. It's slowly building up pressure. Very slowly. So this stuff here is the coldest of the cold. If we go backwards, will we get the hottest of the hot? Yes, we will. Okay, all kinds of... Wow, a torch? Spirit fire is not bad. Soul brazier looks pretty good. Campfires. Yeah, see the problem is that it doesn't hold the heat in in the way a lot of other things do. A lot of blazing crystal. Hmm. So the blaze burner is better and better as you keep it fed, I guess seeding would probably be something. Uh, let me throw something in there. I ran this refinery. We filled this oil tank back up again. It's about halfway through that processing. We got uh, 33 buckets worth of this LPG right now, which I, I hope is a good amount. So let's see. Can we pump into this thing? from the top? Let's find out. Starlight. Configurator. Yep, looks good. How much will it hold? Okay. Temperature has got to be, so we need heat here too. So if we were to heat it here, 
and here, say. Now it's getting nice and hot. And it's starting to produce molten plastic. So hopefully if we set this to pump, oh, we're going to need another tank. Uh, all right, and hopefully this will give us some liquid plastic. Yeah, awesome. Okay, this thing is full. Um, so, we're, you know, we can just leave it right here. Um, apparently, what we do with this stuff is uh, just pour it in world. Yep. Amazing. All right, we got 20. And can certainly make more. Now, what we were trying to do was make the stuff from that pressure chamber. We had the walls, right? Okay, that's a mechanism. That's pneumatic craft. We need this valve. Well, let's see what we have. Okay, we have 32 pressure chamber walls. Now, the valve didn't look that bad. But these hardened integral components are going to take advanced PCB. That, we can use plastic sheets. We would need the pressure chamber or a villager from, uh, I guess, pneumatic craft to, uh, to do that for us. Okay, so the workstation for these guys is a charging station. And hopefully, that isn't too bad. Um, let's see. That's the charging from Immersive. There's the minigun. It's got to be here somewhere, right? All these cool tools. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's not bad at all. We just need some bricks. I'm sure... Have a recipe for regular bricks? I guess we don't. All right, there we go. All right, I went and grabbed another villager. Still a butcher, yeah. but uh, he'll probably change jobs soon enough. Okay, so it's at 4.5 now, and it looks like it might not be running, just like we wanted to not do. Good, 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 good. Alright, I grabbed a butcher. Um, he still hasn't changed jobs. I don't think there's a smoker around here. We're going to try to build one of these. Um, this is sort of a, a shop mechanism. If that pneumatic craft adds. We need some of this plastic that we made for it anyway. Um, I need an air canister. We're going to need some more plastic, and we're going to get another charging station. And we're going to come on over here, and we'll put it, why don't we put it right down here? Let link up. Doesn't look like it's actually linked to anything. So let's try right on top. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, the pressure in the whole system went down. So let's get... Uh, I guess we can just use this magnet block, huh? We're not running that thing anymore. At least for the time being, we're not. And now, yeah, now it's building up pressure back up to four and a half. So let's throw this thing in here. Okay, we got a little bit of pressure in this thing. Let's, uh, I think we're probably going to need to be outside to use it. So let's, uh, let's see how it works. Well, what we need to do is we need to have an inventory. And then we're going to right click it. And now, okay, we can get, uh, We can get these assembly programs. We can get PCB blueprints. How do we? 
Mm. Custom trades. 50 for 50 offers used. Oh, do we have to have, I think we have to have the emeralds in here. Do we? Let's see. Pick up drop off must be specified by right clicking on an inventory. Okay. Sure. Orders in the basket. Disclaimer. Slot interaction. Plus one is a right click. Yes. Okay. So we're going to get one of these. And I think let's go back to our. Uh, what on earth were we trying to make? Oh, of course, the uh, the pressure chamber. Okay, pressure chamber. The walls we have for the valves, the hardener. Okay, advanced PCB. So printed circuit board, which that's not going to help. Let's grab what we can from this thing. Let's see. Machinery schematics. We want drill and laser, machinery schematics, laser. Doo -doo. All right, it doesn't look like much of the stuff we need. There goes the drone. Like, took the emeralds. And another drone's going to come back with the stuff. That's so cool. All right. The next day. Now, supposedly the villager trades are supposed to shuffle daily. Oh, an iron drill head, huh? ICBs. Sturdy guard schematic. Doesn't those look like the same ones as yesterday? Oh, it is actually still nighttime. I didn't sleep. So let's sleep and check it out again. Let's see here. This really looks like all the same stuff. <laughs> huh. I'll look again tomorrow, maybe. And I think for now, that's going to do it. We, we once again made a whole lot of progress. We finally got ourselves uh, the plastic sheets that we needed. And hopefully next time, we'll be able to make the pressure chamber. So thanks so much for watching. See you in the next episode.